it's been quite laid back, I would say. It's been a good tour. I mean, it's it's almost over actually now. There's one last week to go now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's been a good tour for us. Really. To be honest, we love it. Yeah. yeah, we really love to play here. It's, I mean, it's always been good to play here. The crowds are cool. Food is great. If you're headlining, you just have to wait longer in the <laughs> afternoon. So it's actually more relaxing to to not headline. Okay. Plus, you know, if you're headlining, you finish your show and then the party's over. <laughs> so it's actually more relaxing to not headline. I mean, there there has been partying now and then, of course, but actually we we are not. That much of a party, man. You know, we're Swiss, we're boring. <laughs> so, no, I, but actually, I mean, we're, we're pretty much a, a focused and, and working, hard working band. So, I mean, we don't party that much. In that so not even a single crazy story where you lost someone and uh, like a hangover stuff. Oh, well, uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit hangover right now. Okay. As I just told, it was a little rough night. I basically just got out of bed like an hour ago or something. So, but yeah, I mean, I mean, for sure, those things happen. <laughs> yeah, as, as mentioned, not not that often actually. On the boat. Awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. I slept all fucking day. <laughs> Seriously, it was <coughs> it was great. Uh, I mean, when. When we, when we were not playing, I, I was basically that. So it was great. No, I mean, we, we just like, you know, had the time of the album production before that, and I had such a terrible lack of sleep. And it was basically the first two days off I had on this boat. So it was, I just slept, which but, was great. But you still had to play some. Yeah, I mean, as you said, like, we played the shows, but besides that, it was just sleeping, which was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I would say it is. Well, uh, it's a concept album, and it's actually our first like concept album with a continuing story. And we didn't want to just narrate the story in the lyrics, but uh, I also tried to express it musically. So we tried to make the album a little bit like something like a movie soundtrack or something. So uh, there's. I mean, all the tracks are kind of linked together, and there's a, a lot of like you know epic moments and stuff. And yeah, so it in, in that sense it is different. I'm, and there's a, a quite a lot of things, new things we tried out. It's the first time we have been working together with choir and orchestrations and stuff like that. You know? So yeah, I mean there there is some new things to to discover. Well, the album basically narrates the story of the Gaulish Wars, which um, yeah, it has been like wars that took place around 2,000 years ago and lasted for like almost 10 years. Or so. uh, it's, it, after all, it's a story of like the three Gallia being invaded by the Roman Empire, and uh, the album tells that story from, of course, from a Gaulish viewpoint, you know, and especially from. Perspective of, perspective of the tribe of the Helvetians, which like just was uh, you know, the Gaulish tribe, Celtic tribe that inherited the country we live in, and they also like played a, a big role in that war. So it's but well, I mean the album basically just narrates the story of the Gaulish wars, but from the Helvetian point of view, and that's also like where the album title comes from. Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, well, I I don't speak Gaulic, Gaulish fluently, so yeah, in, in that sense it's harder. But I mean, yeah, I, as you said, it's it's a dead language, but it's actually quite well uh, pre uh, preserved. I mean, if it comes to vocabulary, um, there is no problem there, and it's it's been actually quite well reconstructed scientifically, so it's not. It's not a problem or something like that. Well, uh, you, 
usually our songs all always just basically happen. They they kind of grow and develop quite organically and out of intuition. I would say uh, how how I decide. I I, I couldn't tell. I, I really don't know. Just one kind of kind of happens. Well, I enjoy singing, so it's more fun, but it's more pressure in the sense that on the tour it's pretty hard. And I, yeah, like now when I lose my voice or, or I get sick, so yeah, I can't just party all the time. And I could do that when I just played the very good. We we haven't thought about other albums yet, obviously. Uh, I mean, as you said, uh, the albums. Just about to be released. It's been released like in Europe and it will be released over here tomorrow. Um, and so we basically just started uh, basically just started the touring cycle for LB just uh, I think it's like in, in the middle of January or something when we started. And that will keep us on the road for like more than a year. I mean the, the touring cycle is still being planned at the moment as far as it looks like. Right now, we will be to, on tour pretty much constantly until spring or summer 2014. You have tours in Europe? Yeah, yeah, time. just right after that one actually. Well, we, we will have a break for one week, but then, <laughs> uh, then the tour goes on. And yeah, as I said, I mean, we'll pretty much be on the road until spring, summer 2013, so that's still, that's still a while. Yeah, that's, it's still that's a while. That's more than, than a year to go, so yeah, that's basically what we will be doing for the next one and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be honest. Um, for you. Personally, I would choose Montreal because of the cafes and stuff. The cafes? Yeah. Don't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> you would say even worse than Toronto, actually. <laughs> I guess Toronto because Montreal the day after I always have a terrible night <laughs> 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 <laughs>